Hey, good morning, folks. We are here in Georgia. We're going to teach you today how to make a coleander strainer, how to strain your noodles. See, this is your basic noodle. This is how you, your basic noodle. You get these at Wally World. And this is your basic plastic container. See, I'm going to cook these noodles, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, uh, you can strain any kind of noodle. It doesn't have to be a certain type of noodle. You can strain any kind of noodle. You don't have to be profile on your noodle. Okay? I'll be back. Damn. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm waiting on the water so I can cook the noodles. And then I'm going to show you how to make the strainer. For free, folks. For free. This is called a redneck strainer. Okay? Straight up redneck. I'll be back. Okay, now I'm boiling the noodles. See? I put a little onion in my noodle because I like the onion flavor in the noodle. I'll be back. Now, while the noodles are boiling, I told you I'd be back. We're going to make the strainer real quick. This is just an ordinary container. I got to be fast because this costs money to put this on TV. So, ordinary constrainer, container. Now, look, I chose Folgers because I, I like Folgers coffee. And then you take an ordinary pin. Now, watch, folks. This is this where it gets difficult. What you want to do is start puncturing holes. In the bottom, well, let me, the pin broke. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I'm back, guys. Look, don't use a pin, all right? A pin won't work. Depending on the container strainer, I got me a nice Phillips head screwdriver. Now, watch, folks. That ain't working either. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Uh, don't use a pin. Don't use a screwdriver. Try a knife, folks, a real sharp knife. This might work. Now watch. Now don't stab at yourself. Now watch. Watch your hands while you do this. You don't need a lot of holes because the strainer is going to, it's going to leak out. Okay. I think I, I made the strainer. All right. Now I'm going to check on my noodles. I'll be back. Okay, folks. I'm back. My noodles are done, and I got the container strainer for free. It's the redneck strainer, and you're welcome to make these at home. It's not copyrighted or nothing like that. So feel free to to uh, make one at the house and uh, show it to the kids, and uh, you learn something today. Hmm? Now, look, you take this strainer, put it in a clean sink. You want to sanitize the sink with antibacterial soap. Then you take your noodles. I got to be fast now. You take your noodles. I done, I done made the noodles. And uh, you pour them in the strainer. Watch, guys. Check it out. Now, look. This is how this works. You get the noodles in there. Then you pull the strainer up. Now, folks, this ain't like one of them Kmart, uh, Walmart strainers. You got to take it and kind of wiggle it. Well, see the water coming out? I don't see no water in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, I'll be back. I got it fix that. Alright, I'm back. See, I'm going to add a few more holes into my container strainer. Take the knife and go thrust it through the bottom of the plastic container. There you go. Now look, you see the water now, folks? Look. You see that? Yeah, that's how that works. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, we got this working now. Container strainer here. Look, I got the cold water. Always put, it's a tip, always put cold water on your pasta. After you get done cooking it. Now, you see how it's straining? It ain't straining as like one of them fancy ones you buy at Walmart. This this is the redneck strainer, guys, and, and thank you for watching. Alright, we'll see you next time. I'll be back. There you go. There's your strained noodles. Ta-da! The redneck strainer container by Dirty D. Y'all have a great day now. I'll be back.